I mean like Africa is so beautiful like I wish we can cherish what we have and then make it more better than this videos like that how the body welcome to my channel thank you so much for clicking guys we are still in Sierra Leone it's a hot day today we are going to the most beautiful beach in Sierra Leone and probably the most beautiful beach in Africa I don't know but Maya went there yesterday he came back he showed me the videos and my mind was blown so one of the things I love most about Sierra Leone is that um, the roads are actually okay. Most of the places we've gone, the roads are really good. In spite of the of the of the capital being really hilly, you go up, down, up, down. When it comes to the road, they have really tried. And then I feel like it's actually one of the most beautiful places in Africa. Like it's guys i've said it so many times but i still haven't gotten over it it's a city on the hills like houses are built on the hill which is just incredible i haven't seen that anywhere else i feel like i don't know maybe the soil is strong enough to hold houses because i was thinking soil erosion you know because of soil erosion people don't construct their houses on the hill apparently not in sierra leone houses are on the hill man this place is just beautiful and as we go, you can see the hilly, uh, the hills, the valleys. Oh my God, the view is just breathtaking, man. If you come to Sierra Leone, I feel like this is an amazing place to go for a road trip, you know, just to enjoy everything, enjoy the environment. Guys, so we just left the tarmac road behind. Now we are on Maram Road. Number two beach, some coffer. So to enter here, adults pay 10,000 leons and kids 5,000 leons. This is nice. Oh yeah? Beach. Yeah. Hey, okay, wow guys, you can already tell from here. The view is amazing, oh my God. And I'm not even outside the car yet. Woo. So this is what the ticket looks like. 10,000 leons, which is uh, one dollar per person per adult. Oh my god, you told me this place is beautiful, you. and you were right. Like, I told you, wow, like, I'm so my mind is blown. Welcome to number two beach. This is one of the most beautiful, if not the most beautiful beach in Africa. Oh, it has white sand, very blue water and is surrounded by beautiful hills. It is situated just about 40 minutes away from Freetown and it is the most alluring tourist site in Sierra Leone. Let me tell you something, you have not even seen anything yet. Oh yeah? It's just 11.25. So you don't see like it's still high tide mm -hmm. and when it gets to low tide this whole sea will go back and you see the real white sun really? in here oh. let me tell you something you don't know if you ever come to Sierra Leone this is the only place that represent the country flag oh yeah think so how look around and tell me oh look around blue and, tell and me. white blue white what green good so oh what God. is the color yeah. of the sea Oh, so blue. And it's what blue. is the color of the sun? White. It's a white sand beach. And look behind us. 
green. So this is the color of the country. Oh wow! Yeah, so that's how it is, man. This is so beautiful. Oh, amazing, man. So we just wait for around two o'clock and film the video because I want people to see how uh, it looks beautiful like during places. low tide and then high tide too. So I was here yesterday. Yeah, and, was okay. and then he was like, "Yo, I this need place to bring is you here beautiful." To film this video. It started raining yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's by the sun. I need sunglasses. Oh my oh, god. Wow. As you can see, I did in at the water side. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, this is one of the most beautiful places I have ever gone. I'm not even messing with you guys, like the water is on another level, like it's just so blue. And then far away you can see the hills. Oh my god, this is a view for days. I'm just in love with this place, guys. Whenever you come to Sierra Leone. Make sure you come to this place. Like this is my number one recommendation. By the way, my outfit of the day, I have this cute uh, skirt <laughs> and this is top, uh, sponsored by April Nego, who is my fashion designer. <laughs> Her link will be in the description box. Shout out to you, April. Thank you for making me look so good. I enjoy being alone at the beach, so given that today is a Wednesday, you know, it's almost empty. However, everyone will tell you that on Sundays and Saturdays, this place is packed. Oh my god. And by the show, you have some structures that you can go in to shield yourself from too much sun. About one hour later, it's now around 11.50 a.m. in the morning, and you can see that the water is going further inside, and the island is coming up. You can almost see the sand, right? in the middle let me just show you guys And cherish what we have and then make it more better than this because you see like we have everything you know we're blessed with everything but what if all that long it doesn't fit yeah you can imagine if here they had you know five star hotels sure this place is like oh man guys can you see that area um it actually had water on top but right now the water has gone down so it's like an island right now and people can actually go there and chill you can swim there or take one of these to get to that center and just so beautiful <laughs> Oh wow, guys, this is fish. We got it from the sea? Yeah. See, it has sand on it. The locals fish inside here. Look at that, more fish. We are going to Toke Beach. Uh, apparently, it's more beautiful than this place. That's what some people are saying. This is so scary. Like, there is water inside. The canoe. Is this a canoe or a boat? So, yeah. It shouldn't be so far away. Most beautiful place I've ever yeah, gone to. <laughs> Even your most beautiful place, right? Yeah, but I want to get to the land first before, before you talk. Yo, so the water is so blue, the sand is so white, all around we have green, look at the sky, oh my god. This is the closest I've been to heaven, so beautiful, which makes me wonder, is this what heaven looks like? Guys, I don't know if you can see clearly, but over there we have people waiting for a boat. So here, boats are basically like their vehicles. 
I guess to move from no, one. You know when it's low tide, this water can dry up. Oh yeah. So they can. Oh guys, as you can see, our boat, is it boat or canoe, is full. So they have to fetch the water in from inside the boat and pour it outside. This is this is this is crazy. See, our legs are soaked inside the water. Guys, another thing is that at this beach, um, there is a display of African attire, Senegalese traditional items. So if you want to buy gifts or souvenir, you can easily get one here at an affordable price, you know, depending on how you bargain.